This is a Willits Point Shea Stadium bound 7 express train. The next and last stop is Willits Point Shea Stadium. Now I know you mentioned Drew Gilbert and I don't know how much you got to see of him in the minor league since he only recently got traded in that Verlander deal. But I don't know if you saw him uh, as a visiting player. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about him coming up. He had a, a great uh, little portion when he got you know sent over to the Mets. And, you know, my concern with the outfield, uh, it it seems like there's more depth this year to the Mets outfield, but by no means is any of those guys feel like they're set in stone except for Brandon Nimmo. Obviously, Harrison Bader will pl probably play most of center field if he can stay healthy. You have the whole situation with Starling Marte. We don't know where he's at right now. So I, I don't know if it, it's maybe through uh, injury or through great play from Drew Gilbert, but you know, I got to agree with you. I, I think that we may see, you know, Drew Gilbert at some time, whether it's a, a September call up or at the trade deadline. I, I really do feel like Drew Gilbert is probably the, you know, most uh, position player that we may see come up uh, this year. Yeah, the, re the reason I say that is because I think the Mets love the, the complete package of, of the offensive and defensive, mostly uh, capabilities that he has. And you have to be able to do both. I mean, look at look at what Brett Beatty has done and, and Mark Vientos. And you can say, hey, you know, their bat kind of got them to the big leagues. Their defense is leaving a little bit to be desired. A guy like Drew Gilbert, though, the Mets so far feel like offensively and defensively, he has kind of enough to get there. Because it's hard enough once you get there to kind of figure out playing in New York. But it's interesting. I, again, Nimmo... It looks like he's going to play left field, and I just want to reiterate for Mets fans, that doesn't mean the Mets like him any less. He's one of the best offensive players in baseball. Harrison Bader just happens to be a better, metrically better center fielder than Brandon Nimmo. But Brandon Nimmo is going to be one of the best left fielders in baseball. But with Bader on a one-year deal, that's exactly what Stearns and the Mets had in mind, I think. Okay, we'll give Harrison Bader a year. We'll see if Drew Gilbert's ready. If he's not, maybe we'll re-sign Harrison Bader or see how that works out. But that's what Stearns did with the roster construction is we have guys that we expect in the future to fill X, Y, and Z spots. We've filled those spots at the big league level with one-year deals, and it's perfect. Kind of placeholders for the future. And I like that Stearns has kind of stuck to his guns. He wanted run prevention, and by bringing in Bader, putting him in center field, you get the best out of him. And, you know, I, I feel like Nimmo is one of those players where he just wants to play. And he'll do whatever he can to help this team out. And having him in left field, uh, I think you got a good uh, mix there. And then, you know, we'll see what happens with Starling Marte. I'm, I'm you know, hoping that he's uh, 100% and ready to go uh, in the outfield.